Hey guys. All right, if you saw my um, response to Terrainaholics video about thinking outside the box uh, and molds, you saw me use uh, talk about these things that I used, and I was making uh, these little plaster half spheres out of them. And I said, oh, you know, they'd look kind of good as dragon eggs. So I thought, well, that sounds fun, so I'll make some dragon eggs. So I got a few of them and I uh, painted them up to look like some dragon eggs. Uh, essentially I just um, used this, if you can see it, antique white, just base coated them like that. And then used a real thin wash of this golden brown. Very, very, very thin uh, to go over them. And I think they, they came out pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little dragon nest. Um, as, a, as a neat little project and take you through that. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to base it on a CD. Just a regular old CD. This one was misburned so it's going to go in the trash anyway. So um, I'm going to use this. This, you know, basing things on CDs is certainly not my idea. Uh, a lot of people do this. So, and I've painted it black because as I was looking at it, it, it I found it's easier to work with if I paint it black first. You're not going to see any of this, it's all going to be covered over. But if you don't paint it black, it's got that shiny surface on it, and it's got this clear part in the middle, and it just kind of really messes with your depth perception. So I paint, paint it black to make it easier to see where I'm working. Um, so what I'm going to do is get some, to start with, get some cellu clay. Um, this basically is just kind of like paper dust and you mix um, water with it and it turns into like clay. It's basically paper mache but it's, it's, since it's dusty it works like clay. Uh, so I'm going to use that to make the, the basic outline of this. Uh, then I've got a bunch of um, cast plaster rocks that just come out of the molds, the rock molds you can buy. I'm going to use those to kind of dress up, well that one's a little big, but to kind of uh, dress up the the form here uh, and paint those down. Then I'm probably going to use uh, like some sisal twine to make um, some nesting material and then have the eggs sitting in there. Um, so you know, let's uh, let's get started, and we'll see how this thing turns out. Okay, so I'm wearing some some rubber gloves because uh, normally mixing this stuff isn't any big deal, but I'm gonna actually try putting some paint in there to color it. Now I don't know, I've never done that before, so that may completely screw this stuff up. But hey, we'll find out. I mean, the stuff's not that expensive, so so we'll pour some water in here. Okay, so it's mixed up, um, the paint seems to go okay, this stuff is really sticky, probably made a little worse by the fact that I put paint in it, but that's alright, sticky's good. Uh, so essentially, I'm just going to glob this stuff on here, and we're going to kind of mold it into some, some hilly looking stuff, try to get around to the edges. Now my dragons are going to be mountain dwelling dragons, so I'm going to turn this into kind of a, a rocky cliff face type thing. Um, if your dragons aren't mountain dwelling dragons, you feel free to put them wherever you want to. Uh, and if anybody thinks I've made a mistake with how I construct this dragon's nest, uh, please send me a snapshot of a real one and I'll be happy to correct my mistake. So I'm just kind of making a mound of stuff here. I'm not worried about uh, detail in this. This is just kind of a basing uh, to put the other details into. Alright, 
So now that we've got that up, we get rid of these gloves and we're going to start putting some rocks in. Thank you. 